With the spring semester coming to an end, this means student-run organizations also must come to an end as well. One RSO that will come to a brief end is the student body government, but this break will not stop them from improving the ISU campus. This is their second and last meeting, and the focal point of conversation was the transition from ReggieNet to Canvas. ISU will start the transition of the teaching management system this upcoming fall semester. The proposal was started by the Board of Trustees in August of 2022. The contract with Canvas is worth $2.35 million, and it will be used through the fall semester of 2027. Many professors and students are excited about this fresh start. A lot more user-friendly, um, whereas in ReggieNet, it's kind of hard to find stuff. You know, you have to navigate through stuff a little bit. In Canvas, it's a little bit easier. It's very clean, very simple. The student government also plans to help hearing impaired students starting this fall. A bill was passed to add closed captions to big screens during sporting events, more specifically football games. Everyone should be able to go to sporting events. And if this little thing of adding closed captions to um, our promo videos, and our intro videos for our football team, um, the advertisements for the town normal, if just adding captions to that is an easy way to be more accessible to everyone. The student body government will work with athletics this upcoming fall semester to bring closed captions to all sporting events, even beyond football. For Conway 80, I'm Corey McIntyre.